In this video I'm going to be doing a nail set using Double Dip Stores Dip Powder. They sent me this package and I unboxed it in my last video if you want to see it. But for this video I'm going to get straight into it. I'll be using my full coverage nail tips and I'm going to be using my McCart Peel Off Base Coat. So I think I frightened some of you with the way I take off my nails. So this peel off base coat is basically a protective layer. So it acts as a barrier between my natural nail and the fake nail. So when I pull off my fake nail, it pulls on this protective layer and not my natural nail. So my nails are fine, they're okay. <laughs> but um, when I cure the peel off base coat, it's got like a tacky texture, almost like PVA glue and for my Americans, PVA glue is Elmer's glue. So here's a demonstration. So that is basically what the nails are holding onto and it's not my natural nail whatsoever. So how I'll be applying my nail tips is just using top coat over the peel off base coat. Then I'll be curing the full coverage nail tip on there. So similar to the Apray method, but instead of Builder Gel, I'm using top coat. So depending on if I follow my schedule or not, this should be out on New Year's Eve. Does anyone have any New Year's resolutions? I know one of mine is to stop doing poly gel. Well, not stop doing poly gel, but try something else. So that's like one of mine. I don't really do New Year's resolution things because I never stick to it. I do it for all of two days into the new year and then I stop doing it. So I was thinking I'll make my nail related and I might actually follow through. But right here, all I'm doing is buffing the nail tip so that there's some rough edges and that the dip powder can have something to hold on to. I'm going to be using this shade of blue named Mix and Mingle. So to get started, I applied my first coat of dip base and when I applied my first coat, I did not take it all the way down to the cuticle. Watching it back now, that looks pretty close, but I do remember why I did this. It's because initially I wanted to do two coats because last week the powder I used was a lot thicker, so I thought it'd be the same with this one, but it wasn't. It was a lot finer, so I said, okay, I need to do three coats. So I painted my thumb a little bit closer than I would, if that makes any sense at all. Sorry if I sound off track. I can hear somebody shuffling outside my house and I don't know if it's a delivery so I was thrown off for half a sec, but um, long story short is don't paint right up to the cuticle with your first coat of dip base because then you'll have flooding and you don't want that. I accidentally got some of the dip base onto my skin. If that happens to you, wipe it off immediately because if you let it sit, it feels like super glue and everyone knows that annoying feeling where super glue is stuck on your fingers and it's like you can't get it off so you have like that dry patch of skin where the super glue is i don't know why but that really stresses me out and every time i open super glue i'm like this time will be the one time that i don't get it on my fingers and i always do without failure and this will be the last coat on the thumb it was a little bit challenging dipping the nail into the jar because of the length but I don't know why, because I actually measured things out before I started, so I knew where to cut the nail tip so I wouldn't have this issue, but still had the issue. I don't know, guys. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the activator. This just hardens the dip powder. Once I'm done applying the activator, I just move on to the next finger. When I was doing these nails, I noticed it went by a lot quicker than when I was doing them last week. And I think it's because I hadn't done dip powder in like, let's say a year or so, or it might even be two, but I honestly don't know. Post COVID, it's like the same year over and over again. But anyways, when I had gotten it maybe a year or two ago, I had gotten the Serendipity dip powder kit. And I had gotten this because of long hair, pretty nails. She had made a video on it and I was like, I'm gonna go there and go get it. I think I actually got it the same night I watched the video. And that's when I was introduced to dip powder and I was like, I love this. I'm not using anything else. I used it like four or five times and then never used it again. And I don't even have like the slightest idea of where it even is. But if you don't like sculpting nails, you don't like sitting there for a long time. You don't like filing for forever. Dip powder is the way to go because it's just no fuss and it's pretty simple. So with that being said, if you want some dip powders for yourself, have a look in my description box. I have a 20% off code for Double Dip Store and you don't just have to buy dip powder, you can buy whatever you want. 
So once I was done with that nail, I applied some activator and then I did the rest of my nails off camera. I had some bumps, so I filed them off and I used my e-file to do that. But with dip powder, you don't actually need to use an e-file. You can get away with using a hand file. I'm going to be using these snowflake stickers that I got from Shein. I initially drew the snowflakes onto my nail and then wiped it off because I realised I wanted more snowflakes but didn't want to be doing nail art for a long time. So I just grabbed these stickers and they worked out perfectly. Also, let me just quickly add, um, so I've been staring at these the whole entire time I've been doing my voiceover and what I've been staring at are my cuticles. They are in a very bad way and this is because whenever I cut them, it starts to peel and I just don't get why that happens. So yeah, they look really terrible right now. <laughs> So this is the nail done, I also added some snowflakes to that nail as you can see. Then from this point onwards was straight freestyling. I challenged myself to not look at any pictures, like any inspiration, just to see what I'd come up with and all I knew is that I wanted lines of some sort and that's exactly what I did. I think I would have preferred to have done more of the abstract lines because that was fun to do. I've tried it in a previous video and it failed. And it's weird, when I was doing it this time, I was just thinking to myself, why did I fail? Let's not say fail, but I kind of flopped it. It was just a lot harder to do, but I don't know if it's because it was on a longer set of nails. I don't know, but it felt a lot easier to do this time. And I'm sensing a pattern. I feel like whenever I do short nails, I fail something. <laughs> and then I do it on longer nails and it just comes out perfect. I don't get it. But anyways, I feel like I'm speaking so much about the most irrelevant things. So I have a question. Every time I say I have a question, I think of that one TikTok. Hold on, let me put it in because now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> I have a question and don't fight me because I know how you girls like to tussle. I love that video so much. There was a point in time where I was quoting it like every single day. But my question is, if I go live, would you guys like to watch it? Because sometimes when I'm doing my voiceovers, I feel like a crazy lady because all I can hear is myself. I can hear myself speaking. I play it back and listen to myself. So I'd like to go live so I can engage with you guys and it's not all about me. So I sprinkled on some glitter to give it some texture. This glitter is from either Michael's, Hobby Lobby or Joanne's. I don't go to any of them frequently enough, so I can't really make the distinction sometimes. So I'm like, I remember buying this, I just don't remember which one it was from. After I sprinkled the glitter on, I cured it with my mini lamp and then put it in my bigger lamp. And then once it was cured, I shook my finger to get rid of the excess. And then I applied a top coat to seal in that glitter. For this nail, I just decided to do some random swirl lines. I don't know if I already said this, but once I was done shaking off the glitter, I sealed it in with a top coat and I only use this top coat for glitter sets. I mostly do this because I don't want glitter in my main top coat. I mean, I have so many, it doesn't even matter, but I just do that for peace of mind. But when I did go in with my main top coat, I saw that some of the glitter was moving around a bit. So I kind of just scratched it off with my tweezers or sometimes I would just wipe it off with my finger and that helped. going in with my 
my cuticle oil and I have a quick question um does anyone know any cuticle oils that smell good because all the ones I have are bland and I would really like them to smell good so ignore that that was my automatic spray thing that just went off rudely but anyways let me know if you know of any and this is the finished look um what do you guys think this is my first winter set of many I know I'm gonna have fun with this look but if you like this oh wait I was even getting into my intro these glow in the dark well the stickers do but anyways if you like this video like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching